Architecture, people and nature. Each unveils their own story. A story of shared cultural values, customs and sensibilities. A story about culture in a broad sense. The symbolical dimension of culture gives coherence to human forms of expression and enhances human existence. Inherent to visual arts, symbolic expression forms is the ability to speak about the context in which they came to life and about those who it addresses, the society. Insight looks upon a number of contemporary art galleries in Bucharest. Through the artistic directions they follow, the way they communicate and through the cultural clusters they represent, galleries speak about the city's spirit. An overview of the selected galleries enables a better understanding of the contemporary cultural environment. Here and now we have painting, sculpture, graphic art and object design exhibitions video art projections, installations, performance art, concert and after parties. Insight, an eye on Bucharest's art galleries documentary, features 18 galleries, each with a significant contribution to the contemporary art scene. For four months, we filmed and photographed a variety of events hosted by the 18 galleries. Arriving at 418 Gallery, it feels as if we stepped away from an overcrowded Bucharest in search for a moment of peace. Established in 2008, 418 Contemporary Art Gallery benefits from its founders' international experience. 418 creates a solid and reliable profile of a contemporary gallery in the fresh and emerging art market of southeastern Europe. Romanian key artistic figures are already entering the international market, bringing along with them our devotion to intense emotions and openness to surprise. Final scene, Maria Mana Bordano's solo show reaches the fulfillment of an artistic era, a harmonious bond between painting and photography. We encounter a space that has a familiar feeling to it, and yet it breeds anxiety. Facing the disarray of elements resembling our fears and certainties, we wonder. A world imploding under the pressure of forgetful humans. It opens beyond the image and invites the viewer in. A world with the same unanswered questions as ours. With scenes feeling so familiar, yet so distantly exotic. Layered, they encapsulate the artist's presence and our own in a vivid transparency, a bounding of light. Captivating and complex, the scenes are inspired by personal photographs. It takes courage to confront the metaphors they portray, a consuming reality, driven away from its essence and transposed in an encrypted maze of anxieties and intriguing flavors. Objects and accessories are a puzzle of details that speak about their owner. For a weekend, 418 Gallery welcomed Designers Drive-In. The multi-annual event, which is all about Romanian design, aims to bring public and fashion together in various environments that enable their interaction. Romanian designers are playing with materials, reinventing and integrating a whole set of cultural values and traditional patterns into their work. Lynch would be proud of the way Ayurart focuses on staging every curatorial approach, asserting the role of the exhibition space. Contemporary aesthetics and design are rounded by the intimacy of the pre-war rehabilitated mansion. It looks and feels like a home, one that invites you to discover it gradually. The artworks, the light setup and the gallery reveal themselves as a whole in Susanna Dan's exhibitions.
It depicts an unexpected, intriguing and delightful lost paradise. Her works attain an immediate response. They draw out smiles and frowns. They raise eyebrows and catch shy glances. The curator describes the works as bloody happy, erotically abrasive, parafeminist, painfully relaxed tales. Ethel and Silvio Bayash are a couple of appreciated engravers and illustrators established in politically complicated times. Their complementary discourses transcend the time of historical restraints and link the political and ecological dimension of communism. Each exhibition reinvents the gallery, creating the context that enables a special and intimate connection between the works of art, the space and its guests. Ekaterina Vrana's works bring forward a profound and honest artistic expression of her own intense yet quiet persona. Essential, impulsive and raw, her autobiographical painting is an urge to show it all. Developing a personal language, she manifests her manner, a distinctive, full and intense technique. She lets the versatile impasto cover all dimensions. The unexpected rising from the use of common objects and the artist's fascination for life substance fuel her creative expression. I Despair Therefore I Exist is an exhibition staged simultaneously in the gallery space and in Bucharest's biggest bookstore, hosted by a recently rehabilitated historic building downtown. Most of the works in the current exhibition are part of private collections and some of them will be hosted by a museum that will open soon in Bucharest. The gallerists have devoted their venue to the diversity of contemporary artistic expressions. All drawers and boxes display a fascinating mess. It is what inspired Raluca Arnautu to develop a personal and authentic language. Established in 2004, Anaid Art Gallery aims to raise society's awareness to the artistic act. It is involved in local and international projects and encourages innovative exhibitions. A sea of nails, spikes, locks, lace, textiles and old electronics gathered from old suitcases. Once forgotten in basements, storage rooms or memory boxes, each object has at least two stories. The adventure that led it to the present context, a story of abandonment or, on the contrary, the fulfillment of its destiny. The tiny pieces are sued under an open concept that goes around our personal history and fragmented memories. The overlaid story comes from an instinctive and spontaneous connection with the object. Each piece finds its match under the artist magnifying glass, also found in one of the boxes we collect and sometimes we also neglect. We connect with objects and charge them with our presence. Anaid Art Gallery is constantly introducing innovative curatorial projects that reflect the playful spirit of Bucharest. Since 2004, the gallery has been collaborating with national and international institutions, supporting a wide assimilation of aesthetic issues. The former inn is a form of art created by architecture, nature and time. Anka Poterashu Gallery's second open call project challenged emerging artists to approach the space as a basis for an alternate experience. Visitors become an active part in the exhibitions, having an immediate connection with the conceptual forms of artistic expression. In an exercise of imagination over the Kafkian character Gregor Samsa, 
11 artists illustrated the irreversible dissolution of familiar paths. A meaningful transition to a new angle. A world parallel to contemporary reality where random estranged familiar objects confront this reality from fixed perception angles. The gallery welcomes a young, curious and involved crowd open to becoming an active part of exhibitions and to indulge in such brave, profound and innovative artistic discourses. Surprising, interactive and sensible to direct contact, the project became an experience. A journey through distinctive and brave artistic approaches, brought forward by an art space that is open to theme shows and alternative events with a strong conceptual touch. Just as the night falls without a warning, the second solo show Kalindan sets up at Anka Podarashu Gallery. To a versatile theoretical formation, he is constantly adding new practical ones. The exhibition builds a map of a journey among various mediums and materials. The highly charged, isolated objects draw the visitor to the limit of anticipated intimacy. Anka Potarashu Gallery started as an alternative space in 2009 and became a gallery two years later. It promotes and encourages authentic and original curatorial projects, as well as established and upcoming artists sharing unique forms of artistic entertainment. Laura Kovac is a complete artist with experience in mural, canvas and digital painting. The exhibition is the third in a series that reveals a fantastic universe. She shares her inner visions, uncovering a magical and intimate world of fantastic beings, such as Luna. She works with a natural human curiosity, luring the viewer to openly connect with the magical world of her imagination. It is a vast and intricate structure, a parallel universe inhabited by powerful super-creatures. Crossing through painting, moulding, drawing and sculpture, the series leads to a form of art that enables the completion of the creative process. A synthetic future that uncovers the human potential, laying beyond our time and physical boundaries. Engaged to a long-term presence on the contemporary art setting, Anart encourages a lasting connection between art and society. It has established children and adult educational projects and offers professional advice to visitors and collectors alike. The gallery grows along with conceptual emerging artists and stable artistic relationships. An art gallery is determined to preserve open artistic practices in terms of communication, fair transactions and selection. This house used to host the interwar aristocracy in a time of social complexity and fervent cultural creation. Art Yourself Gallery has a high exhibition frequency and is eagerly encouraging established and emerging artists to project their self-search. The search for a personal form of artistic expression, a challenging yet gratifying journey. Sculpture conquers matter. It draws form out of matter. It fuels bronze's own travel from block to form. 
a struggle, yet an immense joy. The creative process engages the whole being of the artist. It emerges from his perception and meets the world. It engages with the public and enriches their experience. Through frequent exhibitions, movie projections and interactivity, the gallery intends to contribute to the revival of Bucharest's artistic vibrancy. Self-searching is a series that calls for a moment of reflection. It is as simple as drawing volumes using lines and as complex as the contemporary deflection from the universal unity. We get sidetracked and too caught up in the material. Art Yourself aims to contribute to the refining of the local art market and to uplift the connection between society and art. Opening days are also artistic social gatherings, enabling networking between artists, curators, gallerists and, of course, art lovers. By day we discover the sublime, the indescribable that lays within. It generates tension and stimulates pleasure. Art brings back the philosophical concept reflecting upon the intensity of what our eyes can truly feel before any theoretical approach. The group exhibition goes around the concept of sublime as the sum of overwhelming yet illuminating experiences transgressing any medium. Theatrical, diverse, open, reflexive. Artfully, the Slice of Art Gallery benefits from an exquisite location, the Stirbei Palace. The busiest night at the palace told the story of a multicultural journey, unfolding in a chain of genuine encounters with authentic beauty. A thrilling journey through 37 countries in search for the essential, raw and natural beauty of women. Mihaela Norok brings the Atlas of Beauty a project with an international reach back home where it all started. Prior to the release of her album, she intends to make another expedition this summer. The gallery encourages fresh approaches and innovative initiatives that bring us closer to art and to ourselves. Genuine human emotions lay at the base of our humanity and connect us before language. Through soulful photographs and human connections, she uncovers the unity beyond diversity. Her portraits invite us to take a step back from the materialistic contemporary culture and rediscover the essential traits that make us human. Contemporary art calls for involvement. Climbing down from a bubble of exclusivity, art is for all who give in to it. With a friendly and unpretentious approach, the gallery aims to connect art with a wider audience, both Romanian and foreign, who are open to become acquainted with the versatile contemporary art scene. Highly appreciated Viorel Marginan brought together new and older works. A teacher of liberation, joy and freedom of form. The established and experienced artist, Viorel Morginan, is a calming presence. His works are a celebration of spring, life and colour. They remind us to find pleasure and comfort in nature, to rejoice in its protecting and loving shelter and to follow its example.
Artfully also features young and promising projects, bringing them to the general public. Tudor Campan, a Cluj-based graphic artist, engages in uncommon printmaking techniques, such as mezzotint, photogravure and lithography. Each piece is ingrained with a unique consistency that stands the passing of time. His scenes are post-emotional, speckled with latent tension and capture the fluctuation between intense emotions and transitions. Fundamentally conceptual, purely intuitive and uniquely designed, given a random point is a project that dissolves the barrier between two interacting bodies, between the figure and the form. But which is which? The physical world is indeed uncertain. Senses seem locked in the familiar, ideas caught up in the material. We get confused by such a pure form, distracted by its simplicity, misled by the perspectives. Artists joining Atelier 35 have a special kind of sparkle. They don't conform, nor do they rebel against common laws. They bring out the intuitive in the experiment. Anton Roland Laub documents the ideologically determined urban reconfigurations. Fixed points, familiar trails and integrated landmarks configure the relationship between people and their cities. The artist documents the effects that the relocations in Bucharest and Berlin have had on those who relate to the urban space. Exhibitions are not only about what art gives to the public, but also about the visitor's participation in art. Atelier 35 is an art space created by the Romanian Artists' Union almost 40 years ago to encourage experimental works and new media integration. The Union has had an essential role in drawing artists together enabling their growth and encouraging social action. Social statements, dialogue, conceptual approaches and a theatrical touch define the art space's approach and involvement. Metropolis Art Collection occupies the main hallway of a business centre. It brings art to the people that have gradually developed a taste for it, in an open space that welcomes both artists and collectors, as well as the employees of the building. For the gallery's fifth year anniversary, Daniela Zbircha brought together 13 artists, both young and established. The selection of paintings, charcoal graphic art and mosaics range from naturalistic to non-representational. Eugenio Van's oversized and deeply layered portraits, the photorealistic works of the young student and emerging artist Marina Bira, and Angela Savo's delightful visual creations apply to the audience and confess a rich and bold creative experience. Odeon Gallery, Dan Art's second exhibition space, is hosted by the Odeon Theatre, an elegant landmark of Bucharest and a symbol of its culture. Stepping inside the theatre's underground floor, you discover intense passion, drama and creativity. Dan Art is actively engaged in bringing contemporary art to the general public. Furthermore, the gallery is also involved in summer workshops and short artistic residences with highly talented and dedicated artists such as Sorinio Sub.
Inspired by a traditional language and stimulated by a surrealist vision, he projects a profound bond with nature and an interlaced critical spirit looking upon the contemporary individual and its angsts. The open space resembles a stone fortress. The walls are left unfinished, creating a rough hewn effect. A sculptural space with grey and brute walls flooded by architectural lighting and soulful artworks. The first solo show of young artist Cornelia Popa is a journey towards the development of a creative expression. the refining of a personal language and a search for self. The theatre underground floor feels like a time capsule protecting its visitors from the downtown rush outside. Trophies is an exhibition about the glory of creating and owning an artwork. The artist explores the density of human perception towards an artwork and the nature of their emotional bond. She is challenging the visitor to immerse into the painting and control it, or, on the contrary, to be exposed to the power it radiates. The fantastic world reflects across the gallery, it surpasses the frame. A young gallery with grounded values and a promising and professional approach to contemporary art. Versatile yet focused, Eastward's Prospectus is dedicated to the multicultural, vibrant and historically challenged Eastern European area. They are responsibly mirroring the contemporary art scene, planning their exhibitions up to a year in advance and carefully selecting valuable artistic expressions. Mnemonics is an exhibition revealing drawing's ability to penetrate and transcend memory. Memory becomes medium. Drawing as a language is at a safe distance from the norms of the art world and connects us to memory as it is. The generous first floor hosts mainly established artists, bringing forward powerful statements and discreetly crafting our cultural identity. The underground floor is dedicated to video art, welcoming intense and challenging shows. The gallery brings forward the authenticity and discursive power of Eastern European productions. Marilena Predasync is a highly versatile artist, established in an ideologically challenging time for Romanian artists. Transcending historically determined limitations, she experiments with body art, photographic interventions and performance art since the early 80s. Painting and drawing come together in an uncommon exhibition, revealing the artist's motto and some unpublished works. A space that welcomes the interaction between gallerists, artists, curators and art lovers. An invitation to dare a deeper look upon the Romanian identity and the concepts and conditions that shaped it.
Cultural identity goes beyond artistic expression, style, mediums and generations. The gallery is fueled by the spirit, imagination and powerful statements that speak our truth. In 2008, Elite Art started operating as a gallery and a dedicated space for an art shop. Elite Art organizes annual artistic summer workshops in Balchik, at the Black Sea. So far, over 250 artists have taken part in the initiative running on private funds. The gallery features mostly established artists and has a constant presence on the local art scene, hosting about 12 exhibitions per year. Elite art is a space where the abstract meets the figurative and the unconventional hides under a formal cover. This is a group exhibition that approaches spirituality and explores the inner world from a contemporary perspective. It is a carefully crafted reenactment of traditional spirituality explored through oil painting, installation and sculpture. The plasticity and color richness of religious artifacts connects faith to visual art, enhancing the connection between the sacred and the secular. The core religious messages are timeless and relatable from the contemporary society's perspective. Memory fragments, traditional patterns, universal peace, warmth and light coexist in art and bring us closer to our spiritual heritage. Elite art features artists grounded in a symbolic approach, skilled interpreters of the reality and keen observers of textures. Art lovers are invited to become acquainted to the gallery space and to enhance their connection to art through music. Technique, dedication and cultural identity awareness are imperative to authentic art. From Transylvania with Love is an artistic dialogue between two artists who approach ceramics in original ways. They give value to traditional motives and patterns, creating unique and vibrant pieces that reveal playful yet powerful narratives. The ceramic works tell childhood stories and project new ones in a fortunate mix between tradition and innovation. Elite art breeds nostalgia and invites modern art into contemporaneity, contributing to Bucharest's awareness to a variety of artistic forms, varying from expressionist paintings to handmade souvenirs. In 2012, Karol I's Central University Library created a new extension designed to host an art gallery and an art shop. Galateka Gallery is located round the corner from the Revolution Square and former Royal Palace, currently the National Art Museum. The porcelain wearable armors, designed by Juana Sisa, belong in our image-obsessed society. We carefully design our personal breastplate, a shield against visible emotions, a hiding place for vulnerability. The artist compares the material with our own human frailty, a medium that uncovers the vulnerable. Galateca is an effervescent place, hosting original contemporary projects with international reach. 
Alexandra Abraham's leather harnesses are designed to refine simple yet elegant outfits. They represent a necessary set of rules that condition the flourishing of freedom. You can never get too attached to porcelain, just as you can never count on anything to be everlasting. The heart's fragile encasing is a construct, a game of perception and identity, and it's bleeding gold. Local Combat is an interactive exhibition recreating similar outdoor installations. Cosmin Paulescu invites us to embrace our playful nature and to indulge in timeless activities. Galateca is a cultural hub that enables the interaction between artists, designers, curators and art lovers. The interactive shows and the variety of mediums create a full experience. The Romanian map is the playground that we are all sharing. The usual notes reminding visitors not to touch the artwork turn into playdate imitations. The gallery space and the guests become part of the project and fuel it throughout the evening. Left a choice, we seem to choose the simple fun that our parents were having after drawing a chalk playfield. Memory guards our essence. Nostalgia brings it out little by little. Established in 2002, in the early beginnings of the contemporary gallery scene, Heart Gallery manages to remain in touch with the underground artistic scene. It evolved into an art space from the gallery's family apartment. A symbol of love and beauty, Venus takes a step back from figurative representation. The photographical series brought to existence by the human body explorer Claudio Garudo hides her from preconceptions and juxtaposes two feminine aspects. Venus appears as a fertile figure, a perpetuator of human life, while simultaneously displaying her sensuality and inherent eroticism. Heart Gallery has a constant international presence and a significant contribution to the rising of the contemporary art scene. Among the established artists strongly linked to the gallery, we count Roman Tolic and Ion Berledano. Tara Loaded is the exhibition of an artistic journey towards maturity. 17 years of artistic practice, an elaborate lifelong search breeding answers to ever-present questions. Gallery, art space and artistic hangout place. Heart is casual and friendly, still unapproachable and exclusive. A gallery for the connoisseur, the initiated and the confident youth. The gallerist, Dan Popescu, believes in authentic art. Art that has an active contribution in one's life, resolving tensions and bursting emotional bubbles. Art is not about its history and becoming. It is about the balance between what it gives and what it holds in. Ivan Gallery selects and represents the artists based on personal taste, affinity and friendship, on mutual understanding and common grounds. Marianne Ivan describes it as a relationship based on trust that allows each partner to play their part while growing and evolving together. Ruins of the Day is a multimedia exhibition that connects with the audience on multiple levels. 
collective memories shaped by a selective approach to history. We relate to events that are relevant to the contemporary context. We search for examples and historical references. Stefan Sava brings forward personal and collective memories, uncovering their potential. They encapsulate time and space, the two essential memory coordinates. He questions remembrance and re-evaluates the past. He recycles portraits and visual documentation from the underground flow of past images. The context they emerge from and their identity don't appeal directly to our present selves, yet the portraits enable an intimate connection between the audience and temporality. After the gallery prepares, curates, presents and displays art, it is the public's turn to act. The encounter with such a collection of pieces evokes undiscovered memories and stirs up responses within oneself. Ivan Gallery stands out through its relevant artists and the substance of their work. A work of art is a small world in itself, a world of colors, lines and figures, a maze of feelings, familiar subjects and intriguing symbols. All of them originate in the universal patterns that Gabriel Kellerman gains access to through sound. Gabriel Kellerman bases his art on extensive research on the geometry of liquids and overlapping frequency waves. Traversing liquid matter, the energy created by sound reveals dynamic patterns and symmetries. Kellerman freezes the energetic vectors in certain volumetrical stages, revealing surprisingly organic sculptures. The exhibition includes several digigraphies, a video room, research notes and drawings revealing key moments of various experiments. Kellerman guides matter towards its refinement following the universal patterns discovered through a thorough analysis of frequency waves and their dynamic. Nasui Collection and Gallery is an independent organization that supports contemporary art and artists from Romania, branding them as international values. With strong international links and experience, Wana and Cosmin Nasui are now dedicated to the Romanian public. They connect to targeted communities through tailored events with dedicated curatorial approaches. They focus on medium and long-term projects and have developed programs for professional learning and cultural management development. The exhibition Express Yourself presents the works of 20 National University of Art students, the finalists of a design competition. Uh, in the 90s we start to work with art because the product was ready to be surrounded with something special and so we thought uh, the only thing that can uh, surround the coffee moment and that can uh, be with you when you have your moment of inspiration together with your coffee can be contemporary art. Mi diceva che anche corse per non mare, finanza se non mai dei benefici, io temo come un momento che sta detto molto ancora che siamo in discorso. The young artists envisioned the perfect design for a limited series of coffee cans for a company that is a strong supporter of contemporary literature and visual art. Growing the perfect plant, picking and roasting the beans and serving amazing coffee is also a form of art. Nasui is now more than a gallery. It has recently initiated the Postmodernism Museum. As a part of an international group of private museums, Postmodernism Museum has access to private collections worldwide that can now find their way to Romania. The opening exhibition, The Hoku Through the Eyes of Japanese Photographers, features leading artists that aim to enhance the understanding of culture, climate and life in the Hoku to an international audience. The exhibition is also hosting a series of workshops focusing on the Japanese culture and life.
Established in Bucharest in 2012, Nicodim Gallery is hosted by the French Baroque Cantacuzino Palace, today the Georgia Enescu Museum. The ever-present Yogi Bear, joined by Velasquez, Comet Trails, Charcoal Storms and a pair of boots emerge from the pastel dust. Robin von Einsiedel show, Chinatown, is an explosion of personal statements and a collection of unexpected materials. Bitumen, gravel and spray paint join their density and texture theatrically. Nicodim Gallery benefits from the 10-year experience of the LA-based gallery, sharing its name and it is widely known on the international art market. Nicodim Gallery has been actively promoting outstanding Romanian artists such as Adrian Genie, Sherban Savu and Miklos Onukshan on the international art market. Adrian Dan and Chloe Kenum managed to disrupt every piece of a perfectly still living environment. Unsuspecting clothing, confused gloves and an unabashed black glass are unable to fit back into their artificial pre-designed form. They break out, they outgrow the structure that held them and abandon the story they were meant to follow. The OCD ultimate confusion, an obsessive nightmare overshadowed by a profound artistic expression. Moreover, the gallery is also managing and promoting foreign artists internationally, as well as bringing them to the attention of Romanian art lovers and collectors. Philip Kramer paints a world of interconnectedness, manifested in a warm, primordial ochre, the natural yellow pigment of flesh and soil. He turns towards a more authentic, unguided human experience, a primary, unconstrained and genuine experience. Highly involved with his art and dedicated to refining his skills, the emerging artist Daniel Jamo authored an extensive solo exhibition, The Unicorn Tales. Allegorical, blunt and with a dose of absurd humour, his works show an interest for dislocation, ethnicity, nationalism and global migration. The assimilation of cultural values calls for a critical position, ingenuously avoiding melodrama. Victoria Art Center for Contemporary Cultural Production creates the frame for international cultural exchange, interdisciplinary dialogue through debates, book launchings and educational programs. Supervisions is an itinerant collective exhibition featuring multiple techniques. Drawings, calligraphy, photographs, videos and installations invite the audience to give in to art in a moment of contemplation. By embracing a variety of media, the gallery encourages all forms of artistic expression and the potential that they reveal. We are curious, yet cautious. We are used to a constant flow of images in all forms and context, but we like to know what to expect, to dress for the occasion and to anticipate who is going to be there. Exhibitions make promises, prompt us on what to expect. Yet, Victoria Art hosts a series of artworks that keep us at the receiving end, speaking in a vivid and surprising manner. Eagerly encouraging remarkable emerging artists, Victoria Art Center supports initiatives with a social relevance. 
Connected with the launch of a guide questioning gender issues in the urban space, Victoria Art hosted a multimedia group exhibition. The artists are bringing forth elements that question Bucharest's attitude towards discrimination, while raising awareness on the issue by challenging the audience. The Urban Discriminations exhibition approaches the gender dimension of the city. Photographs documenting the locals' reaction to female nudity, graffiti works, urban interventions and projections experienced behind dark curtains offer a detailed account of the contemporary society. The young, curious and socially involved crowd visiting Victoria Art Centre are ready to face anything belonging to their culture. Zorzini Gallery is located in a former industrial building, an ex-fur factory, close to the city centre. Colliding Geometries is an exhibition that reveals a non-figurative approach, coating the classical artistic background of the Cluj-based artist Dan Machuka. His abstraction carves out the superficial layers of reality, enabling the return to essential forms and the break from contemporary aesthetics. Shifting from a delicate engraving to raw fours comes natural to Szilard Gaspar. He is a prolific sculptor, a dedicated athlete and an expressive performer. The artist surrenders himself to his work. He incorporates his senses, sensitivity and his boxing skills into matter. Leaving a trace and having an impact are no metaphors for this artist. He patiently conquers matter and commits to its structure. The gallery is his arena and the clay becomes an extension of his primary, untamed self. Zorzini Gallery choose projects and artists that raise the bar for contemporary art and make a solid statement, engaging strong technical skills and conceptual thinking. Istvan Betuker unveils his personal enigma, his most intimate self, in a courageous approach that leaves him uncovered, exposed. A promising artist dedicated to painting, he peels off the superficial layers and goes beyond expectations, interlacing his solid technique and his honest personal confession. Open to the international art scene, the gallery is fairly young and driven by the desire to take Bucharest a step further in terms of artistic awareness. Gradually opening towards recent forms of artistic expressions and interactivity, the Romanian public is becoming alert and eager to connect with art, embracing new mediums. Intuitive, conceptual and blunt, Romanian art is abounding in dark humour, passion and resilience.
Still divided and chaotic, Bucharest's art scene is looking up to European capitals that benefit from integrating art into their common practices. Its potential is unraveling in urban spaces, underground venues, institutions and galleries, engaging a growing audience. Bucharest's artistic community is developing strong international connections and is branding Romanian artists as international values. The open and versatile approach of the galleries, along with innovative spirit of contemporary artists, is enriching the art experience in Bucharest. What today calls outrageous and surprising will be an integrant part of tomorrow's culture and will define society. <laughs>